I mean, that's up a bump right there, right? It's just a very, very sharp 90 degree, actually more than 90 degree turn. Yeah. So what, what you're gonna notice is at first when we do this, it's like, oh, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. And then uh, watch what happens. <laughs> this is unreal. More than a little exciting to be pulling in to Bronco Super Celebration East. It's gonna be a great weekend, guys. Sam's in front of me and his F-150. What you've all wanted to see, well, not all of you, but some of you, is these new Broncos, and we're about to go for a ride in the 2021 Bronco. Uh, there's my favorite Bronco from last year. Now, sorry I'm getting excited. Um, this is awesome. This is better than last year. Last year they had two um, regular Broncos, two sports out. It was the first time I'd ever laid eyes on them. There's, guys, there's, it looks like 15 or 20 of them here. So I'll count and get you a number, but this is off the hook. Super Celebration East 2021. Guys, thanks for watching our channel. We're gonna have some fun. So we finally got a spot. We're checked in here. Bronco Nation official. Man, this grill turned out great. We're gonna go see if we can get set up for a ride and we'll catch you here in just a second in, the, in a new Bronco, hopefully. Hey guys. Hey. What's up? So we ran into our old friend, Mitchell Watts. We got a bone to pick with him, guys. He's the guy that burned the transmission up in the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that yeah. because I saw the transmissions burnt? You we had to build it anyway. I wanted a new one anyway, but I was wanting to race a few more times before you blew it up. So nah. that sound that we heard—that was the actual transmission. The, come to find out, the, the thing was cooked, dude. It was the the guy that rebuilt it or built it said it's the worst one he's ever seen, and he's a tech at a dealer that builds <laughs> transmissions in West Virginia. Yeah, um, but. Thanks, Mitchell, for ruining our truck. Nah, the truck's built. He didn't. He didn't burn it up. But the truck uh, transmission's rebuilt now. We've raced the Shelby F-150 and smoked. Them. Put that. Put that L on him. Um, <laughs> no, he's a great guy. Tim Gilloway is a subscriber and he's an awesome guy. We're we're just talking a little trash because we did smoke him. Uh, but I want to say what's up to Mitchell before we got going. Hopefully, we'll Absolutely. do a, a video while we're here at. Uh, Bronco Super Celebration East. We're about to jump in and go ride, and I think he's gonna go warm up in the car and eat some. It's freezing out here, man. It's like 40 degrees outside, and I know that yep. for Alabama boys, that's cold. It's, but it's not. I mean, yesterday we were in shorts and a t-shirt filming in the garage and had to turn the AC on in the garage, and today we're up here, and, like freezing in North again. Face again. I know. You know, I it's know. not North Face time of the year, but I don't know we're about out this here Tennessee weather, man. <laughs> I don't know about this Tennessee weather, but awesome well, event. Hey. Buddy, it's great to see you. Absolutely, great Good to see to you. Into great you. to see you. Hopefully, yeah. we'll get behind the wheel of something together while you're up here, and hopefully, you don't break it this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's under warranty. It's a Ford vehicle, right? <laughs> Our stuff loses its warranty in about a week after we. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when the first shipment of parts come in, right? That's right. Yes, when the first shipment, as soon as you can get parts. Now, the Bronco, I don't think we'll be able to go after market for a little while yeah. on stuff that would void a warranty. There, there's a couple of vendors that have already got a couple of vehicles. Um, that uh, I'm not really supposed to talk about, but Start you're going to, you, yeah, they've already got prototypes on the ground. Uh, there's one specific vendor I know has had a Bronco for over a year already. Wow. So, not a tuner though, right? Uh, they are technically a tuner, but they're a very close knit tuner to the factory. That's all I'm going to say. Hmm. That's a good little tidbit. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, it pays to know the big guy from Birmingham, Town and Country Forward, uh, TC Customs. Uh, Town and Country TV on YouTube. You got to go check their channel out. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. But if you like our content, I think I've said this when we did the video down at their place, you're going to love their content. They get the newest stuff. They get to review stuff that we'll not get our hands on. He drove, well, am I supposed to say that? What? About yesterday. Um, you go ahead. I mean, it's the cat's but, out of the bag now. <laughs> he got to drive the Bronco yesterday. We're going to get to ride here in a minute, and he's riding later today, but he's actually already driven one. So the dude is a super star celebrity for Ford stuff. Check yeah. him out. He's modest too. Look at him. But I mean, <laughs> like I'm standing uphill from him and away so that I look as tall as him. But when you when I get up close to him, <laughs> that's how tall the guy is. He's a beast. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go drive some Broncos. Good All right, man. You, man. We'll see y'all. All right, All right. See
So we're jumping in a wild track in Cyber Orange. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. So it's got a little mud on it. Oh, look at this. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Better not to serve, I'm Brad. Brad, I am Dan. Nice I'm to meet saying, you. Nice to meet you. Tough job, Dan. Tough job. It's a tough job. We got the Bronco Nation hat, too. Absolutely, Dan. So, first time in a Bronco? We, I got to set in one last year for just a minute with Esteban. Yeah, oh, here. Absolutely. At, at this yeah, event here. At this event okay. last year. Yep. They were more prototype. and. Yep. Um, yeah, I was actually here last year. Yep. Sweet. Yep, yep. It was just, they were just these static displays. Yep. Yep. So, you've been driving these, um, I guess, for over a year now? Yeah, uh, a few years actually, yep, yep, yep. As the prototypes go, so you're the guy that's had a ton of experience in the development of this. You've probably driven multiple stages of the Bronco as yeah. it's been developed. Oh yeah, yep. So, how excited, this is the big question, How? because a lot of people aren't gonna get to come to Super Celebration um, or some of the other events that, that, that have been across the country, but how excited should people be for this vehicle oh man well i've i've been involved in it for years for years and been been pushing for it so they're, they're going to be really excited because it, you just you just compare this to the older ones to the wranglers and, you, and you'll see here just the ride the ride on the road the ride on the off-road when i was driving the press last year uh in these vehicles a lot of them have been in wranglers and the first thing they said was Holy cow, it is night and day difference of how this thing handles over the bumps, right? You know, with that solid front axle, just the whole Jeep suspension setup, it it it, it, it bangs you up, right? I mean yeah. your, your, your shoulders rough. your shoulders are hitting the side yep. the side glass as you're going over rocks and bumps and you're gonna notice a big difference here. Plus a lot of the, the cool features, uh, one pedal, trail control, trail turn assist, which I'll point out to you when we're on the on the trails there really really good features so so we bought a 96 bronco um oh the last year yes <laughs> we bought the 351 windsor mm -hmm. it's lifted six inches on 37 inch tires and our thought for the channel was let's build the bronco that everybody said they wanted this one to be yep yep after riding what four miles in this one i can yep. already tell you yeah would you say that that off-road the big old body style big engine um, is anything like this or, or holds a candle to this which one the 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 uh, gen 2 big ones from 1978 forward well, or? anything from from uh, the big body style anything from the 70s up to right. 96 i mean let's face it right it's, it's really the same thing as f-150s back then versus now there's been so many improvements in just shocks and springs and body and stiffness and rigidity and there's so many different improvements over the decades there's no way that it's even in the same catch up it's, it's like not even the same universe you know? <laughs> <laughs> so the the elephant in the room would be the size of this bronco this i, I think you're a lot of your um maybe people that don't look back at the history of what the vehicle was mm -hmm. they expect it to be the oj size bronco like that's in their mind yeah. you say bronco they expect that big body because a lot of people didn't remember the but it was gen the one right so this this was based off of gen one right from 66 to 77 from a pure off-roading standpoint i mean i'm trying to not answer the question for you but <laughs> the, the size of this yeah. the gen you know gen one recreation and better in every way yeah. how much better is this off-road than a big body well it's it's from from just size right this is a lot more nimble smaller right it's it's like taking a super duty off-road versus f-150 right a little more nimble yep. on the f-150 right so but you know but so size size is part of it but just all the capability and just again the, the suspension the powertrain some of these added driver features which you can use them or not use them like some of the enthusiasts you know from you know old school might say i don't want to have one paddle i don't want to have trail control but that's fine you don't have to use it you know yep. but we'll, we'll show you how that works so so we're headed off road here guys and a little two track here Walk me through what you're doing. Okay, so right now I was just on sport mode going down the road here. Now we're just, we've got the um, goat modes here, right? 
so I'm going to put it into probably mud and rut for this kind of thing. You know, we've, we've got mud and rut. We've got, uh, you know, sand mode, slippery mode, Baja mode, normal, eco, but since it's a mud and rut day. <laughs> Absolutely. So that, that will automatically put the T case, you know, into four high. It makes changes to the transmission shift schedules, to the engine driver demand tables or the throttle response. Um, all these modes, you know, make changes to engine, transmission, brakes, and the 4x4 system, right, as you're going through the modes. So, What's amazing, guys, there's a camera, and you probably have all heard about all these features, but we're actually getting to see them now. This trail cam is, I'm guessing, somewhere on the bottom of the grill. Yeah. The camera outside, and so you can see, like right now, when you look out the front, you can't see... I wish you could see how big these bumps were. Um, but he's nailing it up through here, and you can't see down low, but on here you can see everything. This is unbelievable. We're uh, flying up a trail in a wild track in Tennessee. I mean, we're freaking climbing a mountain, guys, at 35 miles an hour. Are you showing off right now? Or is this... this I'm, I'm just trying to give the viewers a little more extra bang for their buck. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at this, guys. A two-foot, three-foot dip. Now, this thing's eating it for lunch. This is unreal. So obviously this wild track, I'm I'm assuming a uh, Sasquatch package. Yes, yep. This is uh, an ultimate off-road. When you get setup. the uh, wild track, it comes standard with a 2.7 liter 10 speed trans, uh, the Sasquatch package. And then that also includes trail control, one pedal, um, which I'll show you here in a second. And, uh, and you also get trail turn assist, which is pretty common on most packages. You've seen that one where it helps you to turn, right? Yes, sir. Well, show us, show us well, everything. Well, we're gonna do that on a specific part of the trail. Perfect. So, yeah. Don't worry, we got it all mapped out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the, the GoPro has uh, image stabilization on, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see any of this, but <laughs> this is a pretty good trail. I mean, this isn't uh, your rutted out gravel driveway, your old run of the mill road this is pretty good you know, ride it looks like a little jungle doesn't it it does this is awesome all right so here's our first little challenge well i guess second. oh wow <laughs> hold on let me roll down here okay sam how you doing back there having fun back here it's a wild ride better we got a clean camera all right so by the way this uh this camera you may want to show this here it's got some different uh, views to it, right? So we've got the overhead view. We've got what's in front of us. You get this one that we had before. Pretty much looks like the old fisheye kind mm -hmm. of thing, right? Wide screen. Yep. Then you get this, uh, just kind of bends it a little bit. And the one that's really great for rock crawl is right tire, left tire. So now when you're going through the rocks, you don't need that spotter because you can see if you're gonna puncture your sidewall or not, right, based on position. Perfect. So what you're saying is, is you don't even have to have friends. Yeah, you don't need friends. You don't even have to have friends no, to drive can, this vehicle off-road. You off -road. can off-road by yourself. Sometimes <laughs> bringing friends along, you know, there's pros and cons to that. <laughs> Guys, bring in the beer, right? <laughs> where's the uh, the window switch for this? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, sorry, I was looking for it. I'm gonna roll down if you don't mind. Yep. So I'm gonna roll the window down. Okay. I wanna show you guys what we're up against here. These are, I don't know, some of these boulders are a foot and this thing is straight uphill. <laughs> Sam says two foot, so they're they're pretty daggone big um, and I think we're about to just eat them alive. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is, I was in a uh, sand rut, I'm going to, uh, which defaulted to four high, I'm gonna put it in four low. Got to put the trans in neutral. Four low. Gonna add the front locker. So front locker, rear locker, trail turn assist, TC off. 
And this one doesn't have sway bar disconnect, only the Badlands has that. Normally that button would be right here for sway bar disconnect. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Oh, and also, okay, so this is where one pedal, in the middle here, I've got one pedal, right? You put that button on and essentially one pedal is, you know, when you're going through the rocks and you're trying to two foot it, mm -hmm. gas brake, gas brake, one pedal means I can do that, gas brake, gas brake, with just the gas pedal. So when I give a gas, it goes forward. When I come off the gas, it's braking. So great use right here, right? Because you want to go nice and slow. Oh, you just camera, you might want to also just show a little bit of that, right? So we can kind of see our track here. See where we're heading. Guys, you can't, we're pointed up at like a, like if I look straight out right I'm now. I'm gonna switch it over to this right now too so you can see that in front of us, right? <laughs> we can't see anything below us, but then you flip down on the camera here, you can see everything. Yeah. That rock is two and a half foot tall. So now watch, watch when I, I'm gonna go up a rock and then I'm gonna come off throttle. Like, see how I'm off throttle? And it just mm -hmm. stopped it and I'm not rolling backwards, right? And I'm not touching the brake. I, no I'm not touching anything right now, and it's holding it in place. Now I give it gas, crawls forward. Our rocks are getting a little slippery, but we'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this ain't no joke. That is huge. <laughs> we got over the big one. <laughs> These are huge rocks. This is awesome. Here we go. So with one pedal, you're not having to two foot it exactly. the whole time. And I mean, we all two foot, right? We mm -hmm. always two foot when we were off road like that because you don't want that thing to roll backwards. Once you finally are up on a rock and you're not sure if you're gonna crash and take out your, your rocker panel, you want to kind of two foot it to make it nice and easy and over, Great. right? So yep. that, that's, that's giving you that, that brake foot. Welcome to Tennessee, guys. This is a typical uh, logging road, right, in, uh, in Tennessee. Either yeah, logging or fire many, road, yeah. yeah probably logging. typical of many, many converted trails. There's a ton of good fire tower roads, old roads to keep the mm -hmm. fires in the park out, and they're good, uh, easy access roads now. This is crazy. This little valley over there. <laughs> Last view. It's a sticky wet day. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take you up a little bit here, so. Oh wow. See this little <laughs> turn to the left? Hold on. <laughs> You're kidding me. Can I get out and show it? Well, I don't want to get you bronco. No, 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 but I'm, I'm gonna pull up so you can see it. Okay. All right. You ready to go? Yep. Okay, so turn to the left. I was up here in a Wrangler yesterday, and there was no making this turn, right? I mean, that's up a bump, right there, right? It's just a very, very sharp 90 degree, actually more than 90 degree turn. That's yeah, about, that's a, about a 200, that's a 120 to, well actually, it looks like about 270. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Versus it's 360, it's 270. It's, yeah, yeah, it's cutting that, back. That is not a right angle turn, that's a 270. <laughs> so. We're gonna go back here. All right. Oh so God. now I'm gonna hit. <laughs> <laughs> so trail turn assist, right? So I got right now the front locker, rear locker on. When I hit trail turn assist, it's gonna turn off that rear locker. So it's not the front axle fighting the rear axle, right? Which, mm -hmm. you know, in a Rubicon, it's gonna lock up and fight each other. I still got the front locker on for traction, right? All that engine weight and everything over the front. Uh, the rear is no longer locked, and now I'm gonna hold that inside tire on this turn, right? So what, what you're gonna notice is at first when we do this, it's like, oh, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. And then, uh, watch what happens. <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! It just it right this around. is unbelievable. That would be comparable to a military tank track right there, right? Guys, that is correct. Uh, <laughs> holy cow! I gotta just say right now, um, 
Sam, is that the most unbelievable Yeah, there's off -road... no way a, a regular vehicle is making that turn at all. Or most off-road vehicles are, at I mean, this is like Hummer that can move, like that can actually shake and bake. Nimble, yeah. It's, this is crazy. <laughs> Hold on, this, this Let me see your face for a second. Yes! <laughs> Say that again. This is great. I have, I just realized I've watched your guys' channel and you guys are based here? We're here, We're brother. Here. Yeah, because yes. I've, I've got an F-150 and I wanted to cut that chin spoiler. Saw your video, <laughs> you cutting the chin Chop because right because off. first I took it off and then it was like, exactly. oh, I don't, like the, the I don't like all the little holes. I don't like all the holes, right? So I, I, I copied your method. I I think I used uh, tape and then I just made a nice little mark there, cut it off perfect. And I'm telling you, I get so many compliments on that. And then <laughs> That's I, awesome. And then I put the leveling kit on. I saw that you guys, you had an older F-150. Right? I had an older. Yeah. You had an older F-150, yep. you had a newer one, and then you just bought a yep. newer vehicle. Got a yep. 21 It's here. Yes, oh my God, this is great. So you take us for a ride, we'll take you for a ride. We'll go get the wolf and we'll scare the yeah. mess out of you next. That's fantastic. <laughs> so it's, cool. it's you guys, That's, I just realized awesome. it. Yeah. The Wild Track's got the big bar, white Bronco letters. These awesome lights. You can tell they've they've been driving the mess out of this thing. These will actually unbolt if you want to crawl on something. The body lines are first gen to the core. Mirrors will unbolt, but they're not bolted to the door, so you can take this door off and store it, and you don't have to not have a mirror on the trail. And there's actually, you don't want to not have this mirror because there's cameras on it. That's how we were getting some of those really cool views. Got the wild track graphics, big nice flares. There's gonna be a ton of attachments for these guys. Like, these are really wide, but there's gonna be all kinds of bolt-on parts. Glass can pop out. There's all kinds of neat stuff. These lights look, this is why we got the new lights on our 96 Bronco. Check that build out. We'll put a link in our description for that build, but our lights are not like this, but they're similar love the black bronco badges we may have to put those on our bronco as well on our 96. the the clearance is perfect got your hook here manufacturer's tag guys i'm sorry if i'm super geeking on the fanboy stuff but these tires just walked up that ridiculous turn looks really good with mud on it too guys guys it's absolutely crazy to uh, come up to Bronco Super Celebration East a year uh, into our channel and actually have people that watch our stuff walk up and want to talk a little bit. It's freaking amazing. Um, then we jump in this ride and this guy that's driving, that's been driving these things for years, actually watches our F-150 stuff um, to mod his truck. Um, can't thank you guys enough for making this dream possible. Um, I'm, I'm not getting emotional, but it's okay, awesome to be out in the woods with the Bronco, yeah. with other That's people that love fun. doing what we do. Oh, um, yeah. take them, try to scare them. It's I awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back in this thing. Heading oh, down the oh, trail. I'm, sorry. I'm still in one pedal. So that's why. I, <laughs> so that's it, why it's so, yeah, so I'm coming off the brake, and it's a uh, member putting the brakes on. So we'll take that off for now. One pedal is off. We're just in four or low. So what's the hairiest um, in testing? I mean, I'm, are you, did you test these out for capability and those types of things? That's what he did. Well, I mean, that, that, that was my life at Ford for years. And then, uh, and then there was other guys that were actually, you know, doing a lot of the more recent off-road stuff out in uh, Rubicon, Moab. I'm sure you've seen those videos mm -hmm. and whatnot. But, yes, sir. Yep. So what's the craziest thing you've seen this do? Is it that climb, that, that corner climb back there or? Uh, yeah, that and the, you know, of course those, uh, you know, friends of mine at Ford doing that uh, Hell's Revenge trail out at Moab and, and coming out of that bathtub, right? That was, <laughs> that was pretty amazing. And I mean, just, just to see the big Bronco on the Rubicon trail and Moab when you know, the big decision to go to independent front suspension, right? There was always the old, oh, what about solid axle and rock crawl and having that longer lever arm where one tire's up on the 
rock and one's down in the hole. How are you going to get that with IFS? Well, you know, I think I think those videos kind of uh, were really good for Bronco to show what it's capable of. And and you know, we've we've had a lot of talks about that over the years internally. I mean, I mean, think about it, right? The old Model T was solid front axle. Uh, the Jeeps and the Ford trucks from World War II were solid axle. You know, and then now you kind of fast forward, right? Trophy trucks, Ultra Fours, snowmobiles, quads, side by sides. It's all IFS, right? It's mm -hmm. all, and they're all very, very capable off road. And of course, much better ride on road, too. This is unbelievable. The way this thing will corner. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. So there's where we started off on that little uh, the rocks the crawl right there. This thing is no joke, guys. No stinking joke. It's been doing that all day, all day. <laughs> that Tennessee is it laurel? It's not it's skip uh, mountain laurels. Mountain yeah. laurels. Yep, and they kind of grow underneath the tree canopy and the long creek uh, and uh, rivers. Wow. I, I, we've got a pretty nice spot where me and my wife like to camp, and it's oh, yeah. about 45 minutes from nowhere back in the woods. And uh... Ooh, that's too tight there. <laughs> you got your all-around camera while you're backing up here against the wall. <laughs> Going back on the trail, better get out of his rear view. <laughs> we got into a rock, but the Bronco it has a uh, self healing bumpers, right? Yeah, that's uh, Levi Shirley right there driving that one. He's a famous off road racer. Oh, wow, <laughs> you might know of Levi, he drives Ultra Fours and wow. How many Broncos are here today? Uh, the uh, of the new the new Broncos for this ride event. Do you know how many units? Um, I think we got. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about him. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we got about. Uh, let's see. Fourteen to fifteen. Fourteen to fifteen. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we uh, fell behind the group, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but we've had fun. <laughs> Guys, you couldn't do this in the big OBS. I mean, you could do it, but with all the traffic on the trail today, this is perfect. This thing does soak up the bumps, man. Yeah. There's a big one. This and, this is a. Uh, it just ate it up. This is more like a Polaris Razor at 35 40 mile an hour over some ridiculous bumps yeah. because it's got that huge wheel travel and you can let the air out of the tires and really make it a soft ride and it and it'll do things you don't think it'll do that's kind of what this is like except for your inside a heated and cooled heated seat uh closed cabin environment that's just amazing you know that's the thing i noticed too is you know driving raptors a lot over the years you know over rough terrain you know, but it's got that long wheelbase, right? Yep. So, I mean, the Raptor serves its purpose, but to have, you know, a, a similar suspension setup, but the shorter wheelbase, and, you know, and then of course you, you get a two door, even shorter, really, really, really just, it's just a different feeling machine out here in the trails. They don't even sell the Raptor without it being the crew cab anymore, so you can't really get the right. short cab. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one a lot of people were always hoping for is to get a regular cab raptor right <laughs> right yeah they'll sell the extended i just don't think you see it very often or did they stop all together you know i'm not i'm not sure about that you uh dad was looking at a, a 20 yeah um in four performance blue and it was the extended but it was not the crew the super crew right so you switch them back over i got a sport mode here we go Oh yeah, we got to get out of. Uh, we got to get out of there. So to get up, to get out of four low, you got to 
put the tea case, of course, in, in neutral. Sport mode gives you a uh, four auto for the tea case. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, Sam, while we're in the vehicle, your, your reaction from a little bit of a trail ride there. Well, not a little bit, a lot of a trail ride. This thing has a lot more capability than I was expecting. I mean, I, I, and it felt the power. Uh, this, you know, feels like it could climb mountains like we just did. Uh, it was effortless, and uh, I'm really impressed how smooth the ride when you get back on the road is compared to uh, Jeeps that I've rode in in the past. You know you're riding in a Jeep because it's loud and it's uncomfortable, and uh, this feels like every other SUV I've been in, it's very comfortable inside. It's kind of surreal, because I know we've all been waiting for so long, even if you're just a fan and you don't have a Bronco ordered, or if you've got an old school Bronco and you're kind of, you're loving the hype that this new Bronco has created and all the, the values that have gone up on your old Bronco. It's crazy, because right now we're driving back to Super Celebration from, from uh, riding the trail and we're passing new Broncos on the road. Um, if this were six months ago, people would, I mean, I'm losing my mind right now, but people would really be losing their mind to drive down the road and see these. A ton of people have seen the Bronco Sports and they know we do YouTube and we do Bronco stuff and they think that's the Bronco. It is the Bronco, guys. It's like the Bronco 2. The big boy out on the street looks fantastic. It looks amazing. Um, these turbos spooling up, they're right where you need them to be. The 10 speed, has everything right where you need it to be. The technology is a, it's just a huge, super, super plus, plus, plus guys. Um, so you, you can argue about solid this, solid that, wanna manual this, wanna all that stuff. And that's great. You're gonna be able to get some of that um, with the manual, but if you're patient, you'll wait long enough to get yours built. But this technology is freaking awesome. And it'll do things that you can't do with your old traditional, more manual type of things and we're all about saving the manuals we do have a gt350 on the channel um, to go with our gt500 and i like driving both of them and i am a manual you know save it type of guy but when it comes to off-roading you cannot argue with this new school tech and what they're able to make this thing do this is unreal hey let me add one thing um that 2.3 liter with that manual and that creeper gear drove that a lot last year for a lot of this uh, press stuff and whatnot. Unbelievable. I mean, you've got like a 95 to one crawl ratio, right? You know, if you figure, you know, first gear uh, times the T-case times the axle ratio, it, it, you can get up to 90, 94, 95 to one crawl. I think Rubicon's like 80, 84 or something. And, you know, we were going real slow over the rocks and articulation bumps and whatnot. And you can have that thing down to almost at stop and you're not going to stall out <laughs> that engine you know I've, I've got an old an old manual that would just stall 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 right on an old vehicle and it's just so to have that kind of crawl ratio and i got to tell you when i was taking a lot of people out in that 2.3 liter i know there's been a lot of people that are like gosh i get the 2.3 or the 2.7 i mean obviously bigger's almost always better right mm -hmm. but so many people said, I can't even believe this is a 2.3 liter. This is the 2.7, right? This is the 2.7. And I was like, no, no, it's only a 2.3. So, and now this was a two-door. Yep. So a little bit lighter, two-door with that manual trans, you know, and it just, it's, it, it will really surprise a lot of people, that 2.3, so. I think that's gonna be, um, um, the pure enthusiast will want the two-door manual Sasquatch yep. base uh, yeah. with the Sasquatch package and then right. build it up. And, and I really wish that we had been able to get one of those. Right. Um, I got trigger happy and we ordered two first editions and I'm not saying that I regret that. It's awesome. It's gonna be harder to do mods um, like we love, love, love to do on our channel mm -hmm. because we um, got the first edition, but you know we're gonna find a way to do something oh, so you crazy. got into the first 7,000? We got yeah. two of them. We got a two door well, and a four door. You guys door. were right online, right? Uh, if you wanna see what that <laughs> night looked like, we have a video and I'll put the link to that one in the description as well. Um, because that was not that was that easy. It was a fun night, but it wasn't fun when I realized I shouldn't have made a Facebook live video for the first 15 minutes that reservations were open. Wow. And then I clicked on and it mm -hmm. took a couple hours to get the first one and then another hour to get the second one and the site crashed for 
Man, yeah. I stayed at it. We all stayed at it. There's so many people that were asking Ford for a manual. You got it. You got to give us a manual. You know. I remember so. last year the big question everybody wanted to know when we when we interviewed Esteban because like, we asked mm -hmm. before we came up, what do you guys want to know if we get to interview somebody? Mm -hmm. And the big deal was is why aren't you putting a manual in it? And they did put the manual in it. I think one of the Broncos we saw up here was a manual, mm -hmm. um, but. I think it was that and the two seven were way more popular and then more people ordered the Sasquatch package than they ever thought would happen. Exactly. So the orders I think surprised even Ford at how far people are willing to go and what they'll build and what they'll order and what they'll pay for. Right. Because they've built an excellent looking vehicle. And I think that's I hate to say it, that's probably where it starts. It captures a whole segment um, with with how it looks and then how does it perform and this this thing does both absolutely and i'm a ford fanboy admittedly mm -hmm. don't apologize for it got all ford vehicles nice. and will i may buy something else but right now we've got all ford stuff this thing absolutely blew my mind today thanks dan for the ride we appreciate it yeah sure thing guys it was great having you guys and i'm a big fan of your channel so this uh <laughs> this was great to have you guys in the truck so unreal. I'm, i feel very honored to take you guys for Dude. your first off-road ride this is great it was a great smash buddy yeah. i appreciate, appreciate it. it thank it, you yeah, thank you very we'll much you soon. yeah we'll, we'll see you soon <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to back road driver thank you brother i appreciate it so dan banged into something back here we can't even see it dude i don't see it he's golden no it was underneath was it was it okay so you might have hit it i think i was just hitting uh up against some rocks but uh we're golden yeah you knew what you were doing that's right thanks brother appreciate it so in the wild we've got rapid red it's a great color it's got a little burgundy in it you got cyber orange this is what we just rode in with dan Here's carbonized gray. I'm gonna show you some other colors on some Bronco Sports. This is, I believe, Kodiak. Yep, it looks black in the overcast today, but that's Kodiak with the gray top. I don't know the name of the white, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oxford looks white. like Oxford white. There we go. There is black. This is a big fan favorite, and cactus gray i might like it more and we'll get to area 51 in just a second this color is awesome that's the second time we've seen it we've seen it on a bronco sport local at our at our dealer ted russell another carbonized gray uh anti-matter here we go can't really tell it's so dark today it really looks black let me see if i can catch it in the right light but that i believe pretty doggone sure it is that's antimatter blue so let's walk on over here um, there's the soft top we'll catch that in just a minute cactus gray on a sport I believe this is iconic silver on a four-door Bronco cactus gray on a sport cactus gray on the big Bronco with this soft top i don't think that's available at launch but you'll be able to add that on really quick and this thing looks sharp guys this with the hard top is what leah my wife is getting area 51 in the four door this thing is sweet And then there's area 51 in the two door right beside with the soft top as well the slant back soft top that is a sweet looking rig guys and we showed this last year but this is set up every time ford has these displayed this is the under chassis kind of shows the whole setup how the independent suspension works um, a lot of tech there guys i can attest after sam and i just rode in them it's unreal what this thing is capable of So it's kind of full circle for us guys. We're standing here in front of these painted gas cans and we put a video out at last year's Super Celebration. A lot of you guys came to our channel when you saw that video. And one of the big things was, this was the first time that we had seen and maybe even you had seen all the different colors in one place um, on one camera at one time. Not on a computer screen where you're doing a building price. 
and you could actually see what they look like compared. Now it's a very overcast day, so they don't pop like they did in that other video. And I've just shown you, you know, half or three quarters of the colors. I want to show you the rest of the colors right here, just kind of give you a little update. I think they've got a lightning blue in a Bronco. And we're going to catch that in just a second because that's going to be a popular color. And regrettably, they don't have a first edition here, and I understand. But we have Velocity Blue coming, and you can see that on some other Ford vehicles, Ranger and Mustang. For sure. For and maybe sure. an Escape or something. Uh, but you, we've not seen that in person on a Bronco because it's the only color that the first edition will be, uh, that will be exclusive to the first edition. So uh, I look forward to seeing that. And it may be that the first time I actually see that in person is when our shows up at our dealership here in a few months or hopefully a month or two. Hopefully. Okay, so we got Oxford White, classic Ford color, iconic silver, and we just saw that on the real deal over here. We've got Cactus Gray, and you can see that against white, and you can see how it's kind of a chalkier, um, it, it almost has a green hue in it. Area 51, that may be the most popular color to order. Uh, carbonized Gray, this is an excellent, excellent color. It's an update on Magnetic, and I think it's a better color than Magnetic. Um, Cyber Orange, very controversial. Yes, it does look a little yellow. It does not look school bus yellow. Um, some people say it does and some people hate that color, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, race Red is super popping. Uh, Rapid Red, we just saw one of those a second ago. Uh, Velocity Blue here is your first edition um, color that's limited to first edition only. So that's what we'll have on our two door. I really like Lightning Blue, I like it a lot. Um, this is a classic Ford color right now. Comes on the F1. Does it come on the F150? Does come on the F150. Comes on the F150 on the 21. This color is popping, and you can see everywhere there's a cut. You get with the with the way they put metallics in these now. You get you get a couple different colors. Like it's bright, 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 and then it goes super dark, and then almost black right here. Um, Antimatter blue. Uh, last year when we showed this, I think a lot of people thought this was going to be a brighter color with a lot more of a big metallic chip in it. But when you look at it beside black, there's not a lot of difference, especially on an overcast day. I'll walk to the side here. So this is black and that's antimatter. So it just has a, a slight purple hue to it. We do have an entire video on that that's uh, on our channel. You can search through there. I'll put a link in the description, but it shows antimatter blue on an F-150 in good sunlight um, and in the shade. So you can kind of see what that looks like on a full vehicle but we showed you one over here just a second ago and it is very very dark on a dark day antimatter blue is whether you're getting a bronco or not comment down below which color would you choose if you were buying a bronco today which color which configuration and if it's not a bronco is it a bronco sport we want to hear from you guys it's good to get a, a good idea of what's popular and what's not so i'm very impressed more impressed than i thought i'd be i knew all the tech was going to add up to a lot that was unbelievable We'll have another video coming out in a couple days showing you all the vehicles that are on display here. There's This show is twice, maybe three times as big as it was last year. It's unbelievable. Guys, it's on, and if you're a Bronco fan, this is a great time to be alive. We're going to jump in our Bronco and go grab a bite to eat and start chopping this video up so we can get it out to you guys. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.